plural, e pluribus unum. They change the climates and replacing humans in fracking soils, wild bordeaux and forests. But they can't defeat us, they could not destroy us. For the average team, CFOs are after cream. GMOs extracting cheese with every one on my TV. Everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's the Redskins going up against the Dolphins. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. It is a hot and humid afternoon as we get set for football in the southern part of the Sunshine State in Miami, Florida. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Washington Redskins and the Miami Dolphins. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Cousins now to throw on first down. Josh Doxson's got it complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. That was a nice completion on an out route, and those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. Interference call, Charles. You were a defender. You know how hard it is to defend the pass without committing this penalty. And if they would let them play with a little bit more contact to give the defender a better chance, we wouldn't have nearly as many flags. Cousins. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The wide receivers, often a very, very talented group, and that's the case here. And they don't mind showcasing it either. Those guys love to be flashy, love to make big plays out in the open field. They will attempt to do so in this game. Ten yards still left on second down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. And they'll be in search of 11 yards here on third down. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Hurry up, here we go. Blue Lanny! Blue Lanny! On third down, Cousins. He's got time in the pocket. Looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashawn Jones. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. They come out here in the eye. And they'll run it here. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They'll get 19 yards there. And it's first down Miami. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down following the run. Time running out here on the play clock. 
They'll set up a throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback playing in that spot. But well, times have changed, right? The old-school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college. With all the spread offenses, not very many pro style, where you actually have a true fullback. We're having to make do in the NFL and put guys in that spot who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. The defense won that play so fast, and I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Come on, let's go! Brian, 38! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This offense has a few playmakers. If they're going to go downfield, they often look the way of stills. He loves to run the deep routes, loves to get downfield and make the big catches, and he does it with flair. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Here we go. Flex round. Flex round. There we go. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Play clock winding down. Out of the gun now on third down. It's caught. Stills right side. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Having an effective short passing game, one of their mains concern coming into this one right there, able to hit the D with a quick strike and a first down. And you're able to put that into your game plan when you see that there's space to throw the football. A lot of defenses don't want to play press coverage or tight coverage. They'll play backed off, and sometimes those cornerbacks will bail out really fast and really get deep, and that allows you to throw the quick game underneath, and they took advantage of it. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that one. Their guys get the early advantage after the opening drive field goal. And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A sea of Dolphins there that time in on the tackle. And let's run through the Dolphins.